I started Loop Group because I was doing a job for Auckland Council, going door to door, um, telling people about the new inorganics system where they take all the stuff, everything reusable and recyclable to this facility um, and community groups can go pick it up and use it for whatever they like basically. Um, and on the last day of this job they had a spare day so they're like oh we'll take you on a tour of this place and there was just this gigantic pile of bicycles there was like maybe 200 at least bikes and this was like in the first two weeks of the collection um i was like shit somebody has to do something about this i guess it's me so i yeah applied to be a community recycler and then just started getting bikes and fixing them at the time i was quite like into cycling I, and into repairing my own bike i'd learned a bunch of skills because i couldn't afford to get my bike fixed at the bike shop and things would go wrong with it and i just have to learn how to fix it um and it made me realize how repairable and like how how modular and repairable bicycles are they're, they're this really great example of something that's never entirely broken you know if the frame is cracked you can get a different frame if the wheel is fucked you can get another wheel like there's and there's always a spare part there's always a way to get around something that's broken with a bicycle so when you see like 200 of them that are basically relegated to trash with people being like this is too hard um yeah I guess it motivated me that that the like kind of obscenity of that waste <laughs> we we're just about doing what we can when when we can do it like we we have no illusions about the fact that this will be here forever because it's because it's so antithetical to the world that it sits inside of you know you look around here there's like a big apartment block there's like a bougie cafe and art gallery there's like all these businesses around here and then there's just like this shitty junkyard it's like we i don't know we we don't fit in here. in this in this kind of space doesn't fit in anywhere in our kind of society and for that reason, they're not tolerated, really. They're, they're kind of looked at with suspicion. We're often looked at with suspicion, and partially that's because it's a huge mess here. And I was like, this was, a, this was just an empty piece of grass before. Like, you preferred looking at an empty piece of grass, this entirely disused piece of land, rather than facing the fact that our society creates a shitload of waste. You know, and people are scared of it, and they, they don't want to... They don't want to see it, they just want it to go away, which is, uh, this is a bit childish really. <laughs> I think one of the, it's just a really rewarding exercise to take something that's dysfunctional and make it functional and use it. You know, it's, it's like, you know, I, I would liken it to like cooking dinner for yourself. You know, if you put lots of effort in and you, you know, you get to that point where you're like sitting down and you're eating and you're like, yes. And it's like that, but you get to experience that feeling every time you want to go somewhere. You get to like get on the bike that you built just for you and you've gained, you know, how much knowledge you've gained in that process. And you know that if something goes wrong, you can fix it because you put it all together. Like there's a <laughs> massive sense of security and satisfaction that comes with that.